Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to know how to use Ideogram for AI image generation, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you all the ins and outs from top to bottom and cover absolutely everything you need to know. So without further ado, follow me. So Ideogram is packed with a couple nice features. The one nice thing about Ideogram is that it's more of a community-based AI generation platform where you can see other images being made. Everything's public. You can see all of this over here has been created by the community. And what's nice about it specifically is you can go into one of the images and you can see the image, but you can also see the prompt. Now, there's two prompts. There's the original prompt that got thrown in to generate the image and then there's a magic prompt and the magic prompt is basically the AI trying to recreate your prompt with more detail so that it can create a more detailed image okay so this is the result and what's nice about this is you can actually copy this prompt so all you have to do is literally click on copy over here and then it'll literally be copied you can go and use it on your own when you're creating so if you're going back now to your home page where you can create as well as see all of the community's work. The first thing I want to just say is that you can see uh, different types. You can filter it out. So this is realistic images being generated. You can see that they are pretty good. If you're having a look at things like this, the hands, it's pretty accurate and um, faces. You can also see, you know, all the finer details have actually been done quite well. So it's, it's actually a pretty decent model. One of the other things over here you can of course see is that there are designs. These are some of the designs and you can run through this as well. And then they also have 3D images and then they have anime, which is also a nice take on artificially generated images. So let's go and create something for ourselves. Let's go ahead and say Spider-Man eating a hamburger. OK, now that's a very simple prompt you can add on to there as to where is eating it in a cafe on the top of a building, hanging upside down, whatever the case may be. But you can choose the style that you want it in. OK, so I just got my inspiration now from seeing this Spider-Man over here eating some pizza. But let's say I would like to just make it realistic. You can now also go to the right hand side. You can have that magic prompt on or off. I'm going to leave it on because it's going to add some extra detail into my prompt so that it can make it more refined. You can also choose your aspect ratio. So let's go ahead with a 916 and then visibility. It's set to public because everyone's set to public and this is locked. If you have a paid plan, you can use the private option over here. You also have the option to use one of the older models, but we're going to leave it as is. And then one of the other very nice things, which I enjoy very much, is the color palette. Now, instead of describing what sort of color palette you want in over here, you can actually choose a color palette. And if you're not happy with one of the existing color palettes, you can actually create a custom color palette. Now, this is, again, part of the paid package. But it is fantastic to use something like that. You can really uh, customize your prompt. So let's just go with random mosaic and um, you can now go ahead and say generate now you get 10 credits in the free plan that's 10 credits per day right now it's being uh, used to create this image it's going to be using two credits now depending on all of your settings here you may use more credits per one image you'll see over here you have to wait a few seconds so you you're gonna to have to wait about 30 seconds or so and while you're waiting you can scroll through what is being put here on the explore page and there we go we have our images you can see over here it says generation complete let's open this up i think that's pretty amazing except for this one over here where um there's an extra foot coming out there, which is a bit weird, but otherwise everything else looks pretty cool. Now, the next thing that we can actually do here is click on one of our images. Let's say that we want to use this one over here and you can see on the right hand side, there's a few things you can do. The first thing is to use again. So you can use the exact same prompt and you can just add to it. The next one is to remix. Now, what the remix does is it takes your existing image and you can add to it. Now, this is the magic prompt. You can add on to that magic prompt using this image so it'll be the image and the prompt together uh, let's just say with batman drinking a milkshake that sounds pretty sick all right maybe we spell milkshake correctly and you can now go and remix this you can also make it a different style so 
Uh, you can make it realistic, design 3D, whatever the case may be. It's going to use two credits, and then you can just go ahead and say remix. And then you also have the upscale option, which will literally just upscale the image quality of the generation. There we go. We are complete. I'm going to open this up again, and we have four images. Batman is presumably oh he's standing on the balcony all right fantastic so this looks pretty decent again you can see like i'm opening this one up over here and you can see that's batman's hand it's pretty decent of course you need to play around with it and um, use your prompts and experiment and see what's going to work better when you are creating your images all in all i think it's a fantastic platform and i'm very excited to play around with it